Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 12.2, first question, chapter is ratio and proportion of class X. The question is, determine if the following are in proportion. So here we have, uh, the f we have six questions, first one is 15, 45, 14, 120. So they have given four numbers, so how to do this? So we have to see the ratio of first two terms is same as the ratio of the last two terms. That is the first two numbers ratio you should take it out and the ratio of the last two numbers you should take it out and see if they are equal or not. So first one, here we have 15, 45, 40 and 120. So we'll take the ratio of first two terms, that is 15 is to 44, we have to find out. E is in proportion to 40 is to 120. This is what we have to check if this is in proportion or not. I have given the symbol of proportion here, but I'm not sure if they're in proportion or, so, proportion or not. So I have to find out that. So let's find out. So how to do this? So ratios are always in lowest form or the reduced form. So convert this into lowest form. So we'll get 15 by 45 and uh, like cancel them. When you're cancelling, the both numbers should go in same table. I can cancel them in 5 table because both go in 5. 5 threes are 15, 5 nines are 45. Now we got 3 and 9. 3 and 9 both go in 3 table. 3 ones are and 3 threes are 9. So here we got 1 by 3. Second one here is 40 is to 120, right? Convert this into a fraction, so 40 by 120. So we can cancel first in 10 table, 10 4s are 40, 10 12s are 120. 4 and 12 we got, we can cancel this in 4 table, 4 1s are 4, 3s are 12. So here we got 1 by 3. So you can see that 1 by 3, the first ratio is 1 by 3. Or like this is in fraction. Or if I convert this, it will become 1 is to 3. And second one is also 1 is to 3. Right? So they are same. If the fractions are same or the ratios are same, we can say that yes, they are in proportion. So the answer is yes for the first question. They are in proportion. Then the next one. So in second question, we have 33. 121, 9 and 96. So we'll take first two numbers. 33 is to 121 and the second ratio will be 9 is to 96. So convert this into fraction. We'll get 33 by 121. Both go in 11 table. 11 threes are 33. 11 11 is 121. Now we got 3 by 11 and they both don't go in same table. Both are prime number. They doesn't go in, in same table. So that's the answer. The next one, 9 by 96, convert this into fraction, so 9 by 96. We can cancel them in 3 table, 3 threes are 9, and 3, so 9 will go, like in 3 table, 9 comes 3 za, so 3 threes are 9, and 6 goes 2 za, so 2 za, 6, so we'll get 32. And 3 and 32 doesn't go in same table, so we'll get 3 by 32. So you can see that both are not same. First one we got 3 by 11, and here we got uh, 3 by 32 and they are not equal right which means they are not in proportion so answer is no for this they are not in proportion then the next question so here we have 24 28 36 and 48 so let's see the first ratio the first two numbers which will be 24 is to 28 and second one is 36 is to 48. Convert this into fraction. So this will become 24 by 28. And cancel this in, uh, we can cancel them in 4 table. 4 6 are 24 and 4 7 are 28. So we got 6 by 7. We cannot cancel them further. Second ratio, we got 36 by 48. We can cancel them in 12 table directly. If you want to cancel them in lower numbers like 2 or 4, you can go with that. Still, the answer will be same. I'm directly doing in big tables. Like if you know, you can cancel them directly. Your number of steps will be less. So 12 threes are uh, is 36, 12 fours are 48. So here we got 3 by 4. So you can see that 6 by 7 is not same as 3 by 4, which means like they are not equal, which means they are not in proportion. So answer is no, they are not in proportion. Then the next one. Here we have 32, 48, 70 and 210. So here we'll get 32 is to 48. This is the first ratio and second one is 70 is to 120. So when you convert this into fraction, we'll get 32 by 48 and 
cancel them. So if I cancel them, uh, I can cancel them in four table. Four eights are thirty two, and f like forty eight we have right. So four ones are four, and eight we have. So four twos are eight. So we got eight by twelve. We can cancel them still in four table. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. So we got two by three. The next we have here is seventy by one twenty. We can cancel them in ten table. Ten sevens are seventy. Ten twelves are one twenty. So here we got seven by twelve. You can see that seven by twelve is not same as two by three. They are not equal, which means they are not in proportion. So answer is no. They are not in proportion. Next one. So here we have four, six. Eight and twelve, so they are small numbers. First ratio is four is to six, and second ratio is eight is to twelve. Convert them into a fraction, so we'll get four by six. We can cancel this in two table. Two twos are four, two threes are six. So answer we got is two by three. And second one here we have eight by twelve, so cancel them in four table. Four twos are eight, four threes are twelve. So here we'll get three. So the answer is two by three. So you can see both fractions are equal to both ratios are equal to two by three, which means they are equal. They are equal, right? So we can say that yes, they are in proportion. And the next one is the last question. So we have thirty-three, forty-four, seventy-five, and hundred. So first ratio will be thirty-three is to forty-four, and second ratio is seventy-five is to hundred. Now convert this into fraction. We'll get thirty-three by forty-four. Cancel this in four uh, in eleven table. Eleven threes are and eleven fours are. So here we got three by four. And the second ratio we got seventy-five and hundred. So we can cancel this in five table. Or you can cancel directly in twenty-five table. So it's completely on you. I'm gonna cancel this in five table. So five twos are ten, and then five zeros are zero. We got twenty. Seventy-five we have. So five ones are five. Like we have seven, right? So five ones are five. So two will be the remainder. I'm gonna write this along with five. That makes the number twenty-five. So five fives are twenty-five. Fifteen. So fifteen five is seventy-five. So this is a short way to do the cancellation. If you want, you can divide seventy-five by five. Like you can do it and get the answer. Now we got fifteen and twenty both go in five table. Five fours are twenty. Five threes are fifteen. So here we got three by four. So three by four, they both are equal, right? So we can say yes, they are in proportion. That's it. So I hope this question is clear. How to check if they are in proportion or not? In case you have other questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.